You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for Atheist voices all around the globe. Hi. First of all, it is not uh, an argument presented for a debate of an atheist with a Muslim or an atheist with a theist. This is just my story and I want to share it and it's uh, not very short so I will be sending two recordings this five minutes. I can't record it in just five minutes. So. I need a lot of courage to share this. I have been an atheist for many years, but have not talked. I've not spoken about my atheism with a lot of people, only a few friends. One is my classmate from my finance studies and a few other people now that I'm an atheist and I have left Islam. So I'm an an ex-Muslim and an atheist surviving in Pakistan. Why am I saying the word surviving? I think because once you start to think differently and start to look at Islam critically, life becomes hell for you. Even if I don't openly criticize Islam, not when in front of my parents or friends, I have to go through a lot of pain when I see Muslims around me and sometimes have to do what my father says. For example, going for Friday prayer and some other things like that. I was born to very religious parents, very religious, extremely religious parents who consider religion above everything, above their their kids, above uh, their career, above their finances, above their relationships. They have religion about memory. They consider non Muslims the worst of the creatures, as the Quran says somewhere. They think that apostates and blasphemers should be killed. If they knew that I have left Islam, they would have killed me by now. My mother has memorized much of the Quranic surahs in Arabic and I'm sure she does not know any of the meanings of what she is reading because our language is Urdu and not Arabic. But Muslims are advised to read it in Arabic because they will be rewarded for reading it in Arabic. Just imagine the intellect of the people who think that reading the Quran in Arabic is more rewarding than reading its uh, translation and trying to understand it. Sometimes they will say that you should not read it yourself in Urdu except with an alim, a scholar, or with tafsir explanations. Maybe because they know that many, many verses of the Quran are bad if we just read the translation. My younger brother is also an extremist now. He was praising the man who killed an Ahmadi man in Peshawar High Court last month. And when I said it's not something to be proud of, instead, 
it is something Muslims should be ashamed of. He replied, my one that his faith is weak, otherwise I would have killed you too for having a soft honor in your heart. Remedies in Christians and atheists. Right. I don't know if this is good or not, but <clears throat> I came to know about your website, Atheist Republic, and uh, for me, speaking up against my religion is no good. I being from a Muslim household, I don't know what to say. Right now I am living in India and I feel scared. Living with my family, I told them that I want to live my religion and I want to convert to other. I want to convert to Buddhism because after reading too many books about Lord Buddha, I talked about my family but my mother stopped me from talking to my father. My father being a cleric and uh, he told that you can't leave Islam. So it is tough for me. And he told me that don't tell anybody else that you are thinking about. Right now I'm living in fear that what happens if my extended family comes to know they will boycott me along with my family. So it's problem for me. And I came but I I don't want to now leave. Islam because if I leave there will be repercussions so I am venting out my anger here on the atheist republic I have no option but to be an atheist because neither can I join Buddhism or I have the will to keep going on to the mosque every Friday whether you want it or not here women are not allowed but men are required and it's compulsory for me to go to offer namaz and the things they do there is not what I want I don't have an immunity against any other religion but uh, But I was forced to choose that Islam is the greatest and all other are like uh, uh, Bhatke way we tell in Hindi and uh, that's all peace be upon a taste. Hi there to all my Muslim fellow atheists. This is Alice from Canada and I just wanted to let you know that you are not alone. We are many and we are strong. Together we can change the world and liberate it from the chains of religious dogma, man-made doctrines and blind submittance without questioning. I really appreciate and honor the courage of each of you who proved his and her strength, integrity and intellectual honesty by finally realizing that you have been lied to since you were a child. I'd like to express my deep respect to you for being able to look behind the lies that you've been told. For it is so much easier to just accept the truth 
that you've been told to be the truth than to put some effort in questioning your belief system, to inquire critically and to open it to scrutiny and to be able to finally realize that you've been wrong. What you've achieved and accomplished is so great. You really can be so, so proud of yourself. I am so proud of you. So please move on and keep your head up high. We in the Western countries need you as much as you need us. You are not alone. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.